back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, this is Scale Sport Fishing Boat. I've been working on past couple weeks. Uh, just took it out for its maiden run uh, yesterday, and um, it wasn't cooling all that well. All right, I've got like a, a through hole water pickup that I made years ago. All right, and it's it's not really a good design. You guys see that? And it wasn't pulling water. It wasn't pulling water. It wasn't cooling good. So, um, show you guys how to make an inboard cooling pump that will constantly cool your electronics down. So, stick around. Stick around. Don't blink. Don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> you can buy these little pumps. I mean, not like this. Uh, water pumps from eBay and Amazon. Uh, I'll, I'll find a couple. I'll include the link in the description. I got a little bucket of water here. I'll show you guys how it works. Check it out. I got it hooked up to an ESC. One of my subscribers sent me. All right. But uh, check it out, man. That's a lot of flow. That's going to cool my electronics down really, really good. Got this little piece of silicone tube that I got from a printer. All right, it's really small. See, this is like common silicone tube for boats. This is printer silicone tube, okay? And it slides right over that little needle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dole it out right here, you know? It slides right over it, okay? So now, all right, I wonder if it's gonna actually pull water if the needle's not in the water, let's see. Oh yeah, it works. Oh my god, it works good. Oh man, you don't have to prime it or nothing. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that's gonna work, you guys. So yeah, we'll just run that that hose to the the through hole. All right, and now we've got to come up with a mount. So um, let's make the mount. Let's make the mount. Got this really thin aluminum. Uh, this aluminum it, it bends real easy. It's really thin, like I think 18 or 20 gauge aluminum. So I'm just gonna cut it out, put a little bend in it. Boom! Huh? Oh, yeah, I got the mount made. All right, just cut, just simple mount. All right, made some little epoxy dam holes for the bottom. Gonna bolt it on right there. Go ahead and epoxy it into the boat. Oh, she's gonna run cool. She's gonna run cool. You gotta, you gotta figure with these slower boats. <clears throat> You know, you're not going to have as much or as fast of water, of water flow as you would in like a fast electric boat. So really, um, adding a pump to a slower brush boat, really, it really makes sense. Especially on this boat because my water pickup is terrible, terrible design, you know, and, and it's mounted into the hull. <laughs> So there's not really much I can do about how it picks up water uh, other than add a pump to pull the water, you know. A fast electric boat, the more, you know, the faster you go, of course, the more water pressure, the more water flow you're going to have in the system. Uh, slower boats, like I said, they're just not going to have the amount of flow that a fast electric boat is going to have. The amount of pressure pushing the water through the system. So hopefully, hopefully that'll do it. I I'm... I'm curious. Got a four millimeter tap right here, okay, and a couple of different nipples uh, to choose from. All right, this one's got like a longer thread, that one's shorter. We'll see which one's going to work the best. So I need to do this very carefully because I don't know what's probably should take this cap off and see what's behind here. Yeah, oh well. Hold my breath. Now we should be able to screw our nipple right in. I should have done that first in case I messed up or something, you know? I gotta put some uh, some kind of sealant on there because it's plastic to metal. It's probably gonna leak if I don't. Okay, long one. Now let's make sure it's gonna pump. Since I uh, I drilled into it and stuff, hopefully I didn't hit the impeller or anything. Make sure it's pumping. 
before we install it into the boat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna do it, that's gonna do it. Boom, pretty solid mount, huh? I mean, it's real thin aluminum, but that's really all you need for something like this. All right, all right, so I've got all the plumbing run. All right, I was testing it here. Everything seems to check out. All right, um, now we've got to figure out the power supply. So I've actually got a JST connector soldered on. This is just a connector from a servo that I pulled the extra wire off and cut the JST down. Okay, um, don't ask me where I got this, but it's freaking the bomb. I've had it for a while, I never really used it, but I've saved it for years. I've probably had this thing for eight years or so. I got it from like a toy. Don't know where I got it from, like I said, but it's freaking awesome. Um, holds six double A's, all right? And I made me a little cover to go on it. I'm gonna mount it in the boat right here. I've got it marked out, all right? I'm gonna use these blind nuts. I'm gonna epoxy those into the boat so I can screw in my, my battery pack, all right? Um, let me show you what's so cool about this because I'm planning on running more than just a, a pump, all right? You can run it on 1.5, listen to it. All right, that one, and then it goes all the way up to whatever that is, six volts. I wanted to get this out because I've been curious and I've never really done it. It's actually... 1.5 I got a meter there 1.5 here and then it goes to three three volts okay and then it goes to 4.5 six volts 7.5 nine volts <laughs> so I'll never need ever need to use uh, nine volts on that on that pump you know or or my lights for that matter but I could always go from, you know, 3 volts there, there's 3 volts there, or, well, 1.5, let's see, 3 volts there, what we got here? Three volts there, three volts there, you know? Um, and that's gonna be that's gonna come in handy. That's gonna come in handy when I'm starting to hook up my lights and stuff I'm not gonna go LED. I possibly will but I've got a bunch of like uh, 6 and 12 volt screw-in lights They're small for like Lionel trains that I think I'm gonna go with for this boat when I start lighting it up and um, With that type of light, you know the more power you put to it to it the brighter you, the, the bulb will be you know the brighter the light so you know if I if I hook up three volts It'll be or 1.5. It'll be dim. if I hook up nine volts. It'll be bright as hell um, You know and then you have like in between for different areas of the boat also whenever uh, I decide to you know, maybe hook up that um, Radar up top that spins and uh, you know, just odd and end things uh, I got a battery bank right here, and it's awesome. It's freaking awesome I wish I could tell you guys where to find one like this um, and I mean it's simple it's simple it's very basic and you could probably make one to be honest with you it's very simple you can buy these little tabs right here and make your own battery box like this but um, I just wanted to show you guys this because I've been looking for something to use it in and I finally found what I'm gonna use it for so um, like I said I've had it for like ever forever eight years or so <laughs> I've, I've kept, kept it and taken it around everywhere I've been <laughs> All right, so I got my hatch here. Okay, I've got my power supply mounted up with my blind nuts. I've got it on three volts here. Thinking about soldering on a couple of wires. Maybe I could just twist them on until I find the right voltage. But uh, we're going to try three, three volts. All right. Um, I've got everything run. This goes to the through hole. All right, that'll be hooked up when I run the boat i just got it unplugged we'll put it in the water container all right from the from the pump to my esc to the from the esc to the motor and out the boat positive to positive here all right 
I'll see if this cools the boat down. You know that that'll probably do it. That's all the flow you need. You know, just a nice steady flow through the through the electronics. Um, if I need more flow, like I said, I'll put it on 4.5. So that might do it. That might do it. The battery pack's tucked away nicely up there. Okay, it's not gonna get wet. Um, I can switch voltage easily. That's basically how you run a water pump for your electronics in your RC boat. Um, this is gonna benefit you if you have a slower boat, you know. Uh, fast electric boats don't need it, but um, like I said, it's just through the, from the inlet, pump, ESC, motor, and out the boat. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Took me about three hours to do. Um, I'll list links to some similar pumps that I found on eBay, and uh, maybe you guys can do this for your your own boat so yeah thank you guys for watching big b with ironclad rc channel will tinker test and tune everything rc uh, we'll, we'll run the boat in the next video i'll have a proper maiden with it all right we'll see you guys next time